Hi, I'm Mary Croy here in Kona, Hawaii. I'm an officer in the Merchant Marines where I used to catch cuttlefish off the back of my ship. But I'm still a girl who wants to fish more. Today we're going deep sea fishing on the Northern Lights with Captain Kevin Nokumoro. Mentoring me on my first deep sea fishing trip is experienced angler Lovia Del Rosio Publico, who was Miss Billfish in 2004. I arrived at the Honokaha Marina around 6.30 a.m. Lovia was waiting for me. The Northern Lights is a 37-foot merit built in 1963. Morning. Captain Kevin and his deckhand, Tracy Epstein, told us what the plan was for today. We're going to head out to the Thousand, probably troll around by Keoho, Red Hill. We'll be looking for a big marlin, maybe work our way towards Middle Lee, see what we can find. All right, well, let's get going. Y'all set? Yeah. Ready. Okay, let's head out. Running out to the Thousand Fathom Line, Captain Kevin and Tracy set the boat up for trolling. Tracy explained that Kevin loves running hard head lures because each one moves through the water in a very individualistic way. Within minutes of getting the lines out, we spotted birds, which means there's fish around. We passed some floating debris and suddenly, one of our lines went off. Aku, or skipjack tuna, usually don't bite lures unless they're really aggressive. This was the first fish I'd ever caught, so I was just so excited. We continued south and soon found something else. Porpoise schools herd bait fish and big tuna patrol below waiting to grab any bait that tries to escape. Tracy pulled in the lines and Captain Kevin put out the green stick. I'd never seen anything like it before. Captain Kevin would haul down on this line and all these little plastic squids would bounce up and down in the water. Lovia told me it drove tuna crazy. That was a shame. We found a nice porpoise school there real tight. They look good. And right when we got set up, they spread all out. And when they spread out like that, they're really hard to, to find the fish. So we're gonna go back to trolling and see if we can't find a marlin. While sunning on the bow with Lovia, we spotted something interesting on the tower. Captain Kevin told us it was a brown booby. Brown boobies are great divers, flying high then plunging down into the sea. This one was using our boat to take a little rest. The northern lights continued south, looking for action. Hi, my name is Tracy. I'm going to show how to put a rubber band on your main line so you can put it up in the outer ear. So you use the right hand and you wrap it about four times up the line and then you wrap it about four times back down the rubber band and then you put the one end through the other end and pull it tight and you should be good to go. This should ensure that the rubber band breaks and it releases when a fish bites. It doesn't slip. As we trolled further south, I noticed many large buoys. Lovia explained that these are fish aggregate devices placed in certain locations solely to attract fish. 
As we passed by a fad called Bee Buoy, one of our lines went screaming. Seeing that there were small tuna around, Captain Kevin and Tracy broke out the bait rods for a bit of fun. Looking down, we could see rainbow runners hiding under our boat. We soon discovered why. Silkies and white tips cruised behind the northern lights. It was amazing just to lean over and watch. I was having so much fun, I didn't realize how late it was. It was time to head home. On the way back, Captain Kevin yeah, shared a fishing tail really with us. We had a fish this winter. We uh, we teased it in on a lure. It, it was really close to the boat, so we kept chasing it, kept jumping. About five minutes into the fight, we got really close. And uh, Tracy got a hold of the leader. I drove up to the fish right alongside the boat there. He was ready to cut the leader, and I said, wait, wait, let's try to get him to jump some more. And it jolted forward and he let go. And when he let go, it came tight to the rod and pulled the fish around, and it just jumped all the way back at the boat, hit the side of the boat, and broke its lower jaw on the side of the boat and killed itself. And had the fish been further back, it would have been in the boat, which would have been really dangerous, because the 750 pound fish is huge. After that story, I was almost glad we hadn't hooked up to a marlin. Fishing on the Northern Lights with Captain Kevin Nakumaru was great. I caught my first fish, saw some amazing sharks, and made a friend for life. I hope I can go out with Captain Kevin and Tracy again. I'm Mary Croy, and I'm a girl who really can't wait to fish more.